It's time to dive into a lineup of the best 3D Mario games ever. Between these three games, I'll show off my immense levels of skill and some sweet tricks along the way. I hope you enjoy my adventures and have a splendid day. I'm going back to Jolly Roger Bay and basically finishing up the first floor of the castle in this episode of Super Mario 64 on the Nintendo Switch. And that is not me making a joke or anything because a lot of times I'm like, oh, it's technically on the Switch, but it's also technically on the Wii U sort of a thing. No, this is actually on the Nintendo Switch. My name is uh, Brian Saviano, otherwise known to some people across the internet as the dude who just won't stop talking, which is probably my most accurate title, I would say, if anything. So, yes, there's just a couple left in the jolliest of the Roger Bays. And then I head over to Bowser. And then you get a full, basically a full taste at, like, everything in the game. Like, all the different aspects of the game. So that's pretty uh, decent overall. I am skipping out on some sections over here, so I need to back the train up out of the station. Okay, back into here. Yep, that's, that's helpful. Okay, can I grab this, please? Thank you. Excellent. Okay, right into here. And that did not last long at all. Okay. Awesome. Snag that bad, Larry, and make my way back over toward here. So, um, did I have any other things to talk about? I don't think I did, actually. I think I'm kind of out, I think. I think I'm good. I don't know. You know, I'm just enjoying the game, you know? And I know I said I'd take more time to enjoy the game for myself, which I am. I'm probably going to complete this save file. And I'm so glad I, I beat the game at an earlier point when I did because I wanted to beat this game for so long and I never done it on video but then I finally did it on video and it's all good and it's all done you know so I'm just like I, I want to keep playing you know I want to keep going and keep doing what I do and just enjoy the Super Mario 64 exper- wow okay sure uh, Super Mario 64 experience for what it is and I am also remembering that I did not get the uh, the wings or rather I did get the wings but I did not get them for the um, the section in bum bum battlefield that is one thing I missed out on so I'm gonna have to probably go back there at some point potentially maybe not and grab the uh, other ones there uh, that's seven I am clearly missing number eight. Where is number eight? Do I not know where that is? Hello? Really? Okay, if I look down there, I can't actually see anything. So nothing's down over toward that way. Uh, it is not in that secondary section over there. So I'm not missing out on that. I'm not missing there. Is it in one of these? No. Because I got both inside of here. Am I really? I'm not going to maintain my one star per minute average that I have fictitiously thrust the idea of onto myself. Oh, it's right over there. Cool. Awesome. That'll, that'll explain it. So, uh, for this week, what am I going to do this week? Oh, what I'm doing this week. I'm decorating this office for Halloween. That's what I'm doing. So probably by the time I get to Super Mario Sunshine, it will not be all, you know, cheery for uh summer or whatnot it's gonna be cheery and spooky for halloween oh mamma mia it's gonna be cheery and spooky for halloween very excited about that uh the fall season is officially here it is now comfortable enough for me in here to actually uh you know wear the sweater it cooled down a little bit because it is nighttime now officially so that worked out pretty well and it's all going to be super spooky and cool. Very excited for that. Uh, excited to do... Uh, what fall... Oh, my... Really? Hold on. Let me get it. There we go. Finally. Jeez. I'm excited to do spooky things, I guess, for the holiday. Whatever that may be. You know, which I guess the spookiest thing I'll probably be doing is apple picking. I suppose this one you know what this one I'm gonna try I'm gonna try it is possible for someone to 
get this, there's a certain way to do it. You just gotta, gotta have some faith, all right? So hold on, let me, let me try this one here. Like apple picking is probably the most like feasible thing I can do. So if I time this properly, I can make it through there and grab that. So hold on. Oh my goodness, I did it! Wow, I did it! Wow, through the jet stream completed without having the metal cap. Wow, interesting. All right, so the only one I'm missing from this bottom portion here is the uh, the, the wingsuit one in uh, Bomb on Battlefield, which you can do that without the wings, but it's a lot more difficult. It's especially more difficult than doing it than doing that jet stream one. That jet stream one was actually not that complicated. Nowhere near as complicated as I thought. So that's cool. So I'm gonna go and grab the wings real quick over here and do this. So yeah, apple picking seems to be one of the only things that I'll be able to do this holiday season. Or, you know, the spooky season, I should say. So I'm looking forward to doing that at some point with my friends. I think we already have that kind of schedule to take place in the next uh, couple of weeks here. So I don't even like apples that much. I am more for the, uh, you know, the apple cider donuts and things like that, of that nature that kind of appear. So I'm going to do that, get some apple cider, get some honey. Some honey will be good to get, you know. I've been wanting to stock up on that for a while. Where am I looking here? Okay. Camera not the best for 1996, even still. So I'm going to, uh, you know, just try for it again. You know, last time I went apple picking, there was like a hayride. There was a whole bunch of things that I could do. I got like a, a bag full of apples, which I didn't really need. You know, there's only so many apples you can really eat, you know. Like, I know apples are great for you, and they are very delicious and very tasty. But I'm not, like, gonna eat, like, three apples a day or do anything crazy like that, so, you know. And when you go apple picking, it's kind of low-key inferred that you're gonna have, like, apple pie and, you know, make the make a bunch of stuff out of the apples, which never really happens according to plan too much. Uh, oh, come on. Really? Dang it. I can grab that one. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Right here, right here. Come on, go, 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 go. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so there's one more. Where is it? Right there? Okay. I can grab it. I just gotta go all the way around toward this way. Tally back. That one right there. Yep, there we go. Awesome. Look at that. Beautiful. So that's a fun fact about that level right there. Is that um, with, the, with the coins there, the ones that are the ones you need to get which, they should have been different colored or something. I don't know why they were just typical yellow coins. But, um, they load into the screen quicker than the, um, the other ones do. So you can make note of that in your head. So, I have 28 stars. And by the time I'm done with this, I should have 29. I am gonna go for the 8 red coins. I'm not gonna go for the 100, obviously. But I'm almost, like, kinda low-key halfway there to... Like, getting Bowser for, like, the, you know, the other time, like, the final time. Or not, not the final, yeah, yeah, for the final time. Because it requires 70 to get to that point there. Okay, awesome, I can't believe I dodged that. That is impeccable timing there. I'm not gonna take the long, uh, sh short way on that one, which I don't even believe is that much shorter overall. Let's see if I can, ooh, that was spicy. Ooh, what a spicy meatball that was. Oh, my mouth is on fire. Goodness gracious, that was the perfect storm of events to unfold on that one. Oh, baby, all right. Let's try this bad Larry uh, one more time here. You can hit that switch without necessarily getting struck by fire, so that's good. Uh, yoink, over toward that way, excellent. So, like, I don't cook any apple pie. You know, I, I eat apples, like, standard, totally normally. Oh, I did it again, dang it. Um, so I don't, like, have a whole use for paying for apples, and the apples are always so expensive when you go apple picking. Like, you would think because you're doing less effort that it would take for you to actually get the apples in real life, that they would cost a lot less, but they don't, because they charge you for an entire bin's worth of apples. And it's like, here's $28 for all these apples, and it's like, what? Why am I... 
Like, you can get as many apples as you can fit in the bag, but, like, do you really even need that many apples? Like, even the people who love apples are like, nah, I don't, I don't need that many apples, you know? So, it's, it's just a very interesting dynamic this uh, apple picking situation is. But I, I admittedly mostly go for the non-apple picking events. Mostly just existing in the outdoors, you know? And again, yes, yeah, so luckily that is something that is plausible given everything going on. So it's not like it's an impractical thing to go out and do with friends. You keep your distance from other people. You, um, you know, you're outdoors, so that helps also. Lots of factors that help that uh, apple picking situation there. Uh, I'm gonna bonk you, see you later. Uh, that one I'm gonna grab right here, excellent. I don't think I've ever, like, intentionally grabbed these coins before, except for the last time I tried to do 100%. So that's kinda interesting there. Go over here. Um, oh, did I forget one? I must have forgot one somewhere, all right. I don't know where, but all right. Wait, I, I'm getting all mixed up with the camera. No, 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 no. Okay. Go over toward this way. Yep. One, two, three. Woo! Wow, really? Dang it. All right, so forget about the eight red coins. I'm just going to go for Bowser because I accidentally got a game over, and I didn't feel like dealing with it. And luckily, that last red coin was not there because I would have been like, what? So you get to see what Bowser looks like. They, they did not update his model to be more reflective of how he is in the newer games, so there's that for you. In case you were curious, he still looks kind of wonky there. All right, let's see how long this works for. Uh, there is a change that is made here. Bye-bye. So instead of having the phrase that was there before, so long, King Bowser, he says, bye-bye, which I actually like a lot better than so long, King Bowser. It's what it's supposed to say, so... Yeah, I like that voice line better. Just because it's more audible, and because I got Bowser on one shot there, because I'm just so good, um... That boss battle was easy-peasy, lemon-squeezy. So there's that, uh, basement key right there. If I really wanted to, I could go for the, the next Bowser battle, which is, I believe, at 30. So, if I really wanted to be that guy, I could. I'm not going to be. But, yeah. Uh, oh, I did not complete the uh, King Boo, or the, the the haunted area here, so I might as well go for that. Uh, there was actually a another star that was over toward uh, that way. There we go. Look at how professional I am. Uh, there was a like one involving treasure chest over there somewhere, but not in this version of the game. So it, it just feels like I played this yesterday, which I. I did, because I played through Super Mario 64 DS, so yeah, I, like, I'm familiar with where all the ghosts and whatnot are, so that's good. All of the, uh, all of the spookies. Although, I cannot access the, there is no map or anything, unfortunately, so nothing I can do about that. You know, there is a, a map on the lower screen of the Nintendo DS version of the game, so that's something to keep in mind in case you're, uh, you know, itching to play that and I can't believe I got that wow okay I guess I'm like super comfortable with this game because I'm like I'm just getting them oh never mind just kidding I was close though I was very close so yeah you like you're getting a gist for like the game and what it's like so you know uh you know what you know what I'm gonna do I am gonna do that second boss battle for Bowser that's gonna be like where I end things off I'm gonna do that battle not in this episode or the next episode, probably the one after that. But I'll clear out everything in this haunted area here and see where the wind takes me, you know? So, apple picking is going to be a thing. Uh, no, I'm not going trick-or-treating, obviously because I'm an adult, right? Adults don't trick-or-treat. That That's that's creepy. But, um, I don't think most people trick-or-treat anyways, right? Speaking of, you know, the spooky season with this spooky level and everything afoot right now, um, I don't think Halloween is that big of a thing. Is that boo telling me to die? That boo was just telling me to die. Ghosts don't- oh, ghosts don't die. Oh, okay, gotcha. So it's not the boo telling me to die, it's just saying that ghosts don't die. Gotcha. So yeah, there's like- there, there's no- I, I don't think 
I just don't think Halloween is as big of a thing anymore. Kids don't go out trick-or-treating at all, which is disappointing to me because I love seeing all the different creative costumes. And it's just an excuse for, like, you know, people to hang out and do stuff, you know? Like, you know, go out and just get a bunch of candy from a bunch of people for free. Like, that's a pretty sweet deal. But plot twist for anyone out there who loves Halloween, right? You can actually get all of that candy. It's a very, like, deep-sounding boo voice there. Um, you can get Halloween candy and just eat it yourself. Like, you don't need to go trick-or-treating in order to justify you getting any candy for Halloween. Like, you can just buy it. And plot twist for any of the young ones out there who are like, yeah, but candy's really expensive. So, when you go to the store, right? And I think I talked about this in the Super Mario 64 DS playthrough, so I'm kind of repeating myself here. But, oh, really? That didn't work. Okay, sure. Um, so I'm kind of repeating myself, but whatever. A bag of candy, like a big bag of candy, cost maybe like 15 bucks, I think. Like, it's not that expensive, you know? So if you just w went out and you bought, like, whatever candy you wanted to, of, like, whatever varieties you wanted to, like, you could get an entire, like, bag of the, the fun size Twix, if you really love Twix, and just eat the whole thing. Like, there's nothing stopping you. And I know that a big portion of Halloween is you obviously, you go door to door and you do the whole thing there, but, like, I can't believe I just got two boo in that one shot there. That's incredible. Um... But, this way you don't gotta deal with strangers, you don't gotta deal with any effort either, you know? You just go out and I can't believe how quickly I just defeat all those boos. That is amazing. Um, you don't have to deal with any of the strangers, you don't gotta deal with any of the people. Just go out and buy the candy yourself, man. You know? Use, you know, convince mom and dad and whoever. I'm sorry, can I destroy this boo? Thank you. Um, I'm like, why is it not working? Oh, because it, it reads it as I'm bouncing on its head. Ah, uh, yes, of course. But that is not what I'm doing. Yeah, hold on. Really? That didn't work either? Okay, sure. Come on. I'm not booping you on the head. I am destroying you. Go this way. Really? This way. This way. There we go. Finally. Jeez. It's like, oh, I'm booping you on the head. It's like, no. I'm destroying you, but whatever. Here we go. So, just buy a bag of candy, and you can eat the whole thing all day. And you know what I want to do? Is I want to replay through Luigi's Mansion 3. Not for videos, but just replay it for myself. Oh, look at that. I can access the second boss battle already, because I'm just that good at this game. Look at that. Beautiful. Um, but I really want to do it, because it's such a fun game. It has, like, a fantastic, like, storyline to it. It's graphically amazing, and I haven't played it since last Halloween. So I feel like I'm overdue for another playthrough of that game in some way. But I always record videos and, and do all that stuff. And that's when I usually play, like, my video games. I don't play many video games outside of me doing videos for stuff. Just because, like, it's, you know, this is what I do, you know? Uh, this one? This one? Ah, uh, dang it. Okay. This one? Nope. I didn't mean to hit that one. Yep, right here. Right here. Right here. And bam. There we go. One, two. I need to go up. Send me up. Or... I just sent me that way. All right, cool. That's fine. I thought I had to go up. Oh, that's on the um, the invisible cap. Yes, the invisible cap. I have to uh, get through the top there and do that. So I got to drain the moat. That is a thing, and I don't believe I can cheese that either. That is a non-cheesable portion of the game, so that's going to be something else I do. But I am very close here. Uh, eight red coins. These are not downstairs at all. Uh, I'm pretty sure I never have to go downstairs ever again. I'm like 95% sure. Hello, evil piano. Bye, evil piano. See you next time. whoop de scoop -dee, bye bye Never deal with an evil piano unless you have to, ladies and gentlemen. Bam, there's a second one right up there. I feel like I'm, like, low-key speedrunning this game. I'm definitely not, but I feel like I am. With the immense rate at which I am accessing all of the things here. Uh, there's definitely a, uh, a coin upstairs that I am leaving out. And this is probably the easiest to get a uh, red coin mission, or a hunter coin mission done, is via all the various red coins in the game, which I have said before, so in case you 
Didn't realize that. Yep, I'm gonna go right over here. It's probably four and four, right? Or three and five somewhere. If you go into all the rooms, you're good. So I'll just head over here. So I have no plans for Halloween as I've had no plans every single year since I've been recording videos, it seems like. It's literally every year the same exact thing. Like, hey, Brian, you have any plans? No, of course not. Instead of having, you know, any plans or decent plans, I got nothing going on. Which could change at a moment's notice, but considering how this year has been, probably not. So that is going to be my uh, Halloween. Is probably going to be not getting that red coin, how, as I should have. But it's going to be probably just hanging out here, potentially with a few people, you know, chill. Not give out candy, because that's not a thing that I can do here, at least, at this office. Because no one knocks on an office door for Halloween candy. That'd be kind of weird. That'd be very weird. So that's not a thing. Oh, there's two in here, right? I think there's two in here. One, two. Yeah, two. Look at that. Bam. All right, so I'm missing... Well, first of all, Mr. I, stare at me. Look into my eyes. Never mind, you're not. Okay. I guess you're just, like, not about that life. All righty. What about this? There's that one there. Seven. Where's number eight? Uh, number eight. Uh, am I forgetting something? Is it up here? One, two. Nope. Not up there. Uh... Oh, okay, that's that section up there. Whoops, I totally, uh... Oops. Oh, there it is, up there. Whoops. My bad. Yoink. There it goes. And surprisingly, it doesn't actually show me where the, uh, the star is. It usually pans out of the room and, like, hey, here, here it is. In case you couldn't piece that together. Bada-boom for you. But I believe it's right over here on this side. Yeah, because I'm that good. Look at that. Beautiful. There you go. So, uh, uh, what's it called? Apple picking with no apple pies, Halloween with no Halloween candy. You know, it's a, it's a dark time. It's a dark time we live in right now. Not, not even because of everything else, but just because, like, Halloween spirit just isn't captured as accurately as in previous years. So, that's a, that's a big thing. Um, I don't think for Big Boo's balcony, I actually, no, I do not need to have the invisibility. I just need to be able to get up there, which is via this. It is via this. Yep. Yeah. There we go. Oh, on the first try. Look how good I am. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, baby, baby. There we go. So afterward, I got to drain that, and I should be good. Really? Wait. Okay, so I got to trick the boo. Do this. There we go. There we go, and there we go. Look at that. Easy, squeezy. Are you... S oh, this is the tough part. This is actually the challenge with this level right here. It's getting up here. Much, much more difficult than you might think. Uh, I remember this being a pain in the butt. Uh, give me a minute with this one. I don't know about this one, man. Oh, my goodness, I did it. Wow. Look at that. I'll take that one up, sir. Thank you. So I guess that's the strategy, is uh, long jumping over to there and over there. Cool. Good to know. Excelente. Uh, so wait, that's that one there. I can save and continue. So, nope, not that one. This one. There we go. All right, so that last one should be the one involving the thing. The invisibility. Okay, awesome, thank you. Let, let me, let me, yep. Nope, let me, there we go. Awesome. Because then I'll just, I'll drain that, go back into there, right? Eye to eye in the secret room. Oh, yes, so I cannot do this one. All right. Nope, I keep pressing the wrong button here. Exit course. So I need to head to the basement. Down into the trenches where I belong. Uh, because I haven't actually accessed down here yet, so that's the first time I'm unlocking that. Very ahead of schedule with everything. And if I really wanted to, I could just be Bowser. <laughs> I really felt like it, but nah, that's too easy, bro. Uh, there's nothing else happening this Halloween it, that I am aware of. Oh, the rabbit. Okay. Let me see if I can grab him real quick. Oh, that would have been slick if I got that on the first try. Come on. 
There we go. You just have to catch him on like a corner or something like that, and you're good. There's number 34. Excellent. Thank you very much. And while I'm down here, I can actually grab number uh, 35 as well, because in this room over here, Mr. Todd is holding out on us. Hey, Toad. You got something for me, bucko? Hey, Mario. I just happened to see this and thought you'd like it. Wow. Wow. Look at that. Absolutely fantastic. Thanks, Todd. Appreciate your kind consideration as well. Yoink. All right. I'll probably get back to here at some point. And I am, again, going at like a record pace for what I usually do. It's great. Head down here. So, yeah. That's pretty much my plan. I'm going to be doing a bunch of other spooky related videos that are not Mario related because like Mario doesn't really have a lot of like spooky things to it. So in case you're like, oh yeah, you could play like this Mario game is spooky. They're not technically spooky. So I'm going to be playing like Undertale and games like that again or Undertale again. I'm doing the pacifist run and then I'm going to be doing um, a bunch of other games as well that I haven't had a chance to. No, I'm not playing Five Nights at Freddy's because that would be way too much. It's a big no from me, dog. Alright, so this one is right down here. Excellent. I remember this one re very recently just gave me a massive pain in the butt, but I forgot I can kind of glitch out the camera in a way, like over toward this way. So this should actually not be too difficult for me to grab these red coins here at least. Yep, do this. Okay, those are very lethal. One, two, three. One, one, two. Yep, there we go. All right. I'm just so happy to play on the Nintendo Switch with the Pro Controller, dude. This is so much better than playing the Nintendo DS version. Oh, it's like leagues better. Like 10,000 leagues under the sea better. Feels so much more natural in like every capacity. I missed one, didn't I? I totally missed one. Oh, uh, it doesn't... Ooh, I saved myself. Congratulations. Look at that. Bam. Boom. There's one there. That's the invisibility. Of course, I'd like to save. But I missed one somewhere. Uh. Uh. YOLO. Go for it. Okay. Where did I miss it? I don't actually know. Was it up toward the very top and I just walked by it? I don't think it was. It might have been over here, actually. Over toward here? No. Oh, it's up toward the top. All right, whatever. Yoink. See ya. Because there's no sense in me going into there. Or was it in the cage? Did I miss it? Oh, uh, it might have been in the cage. Oh, well. I'm going to go back to Big Boo's haunt and just get that star and then get out of here. So if I do this and then go over here, I should be able to get this... Seemingly no issue. Let's see. Over here. Yep. And into there. Really? Okay. Wait. There we go. Nice. I can just expedite and go, 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 go through the boo wall. Oh, there it is. Nice. Have you follow me, Mr. I? Nope. Nope. Ignore the boo. Ignore the boo. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. There's that hotness. And that's the final star for this level that I'm going to get as of right now and maybe forever for this playthrough. I want to thank you guys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, for listening, watching, tuning in, and meowing it out with me as always. I'm going to play more Super Mario 64 as a part of the Super Mario 3D All-Stars collection in the very near future. You have yourself the most amazing day you possibly can given the circumstances of the world. And I'll talk to you again next time from the basement of Peach's Castle. See you later. Bye.